Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fake lip piercing, which can probably also be used as a nose piercing. But this one I made, certainly, for lips, it kind of depends. So first, you're going to need to, like, either cut a bobby pin or go in a journal, like, get a notebook that you don't use anymore that has plastic things through it. Or I guess you could use metal, metal ones as long as you can cut them off. And when you cut them off, they should be straight. And then you fold it to how you want it. If you're going to do nose, I would just fold it like that. But if you're going to do your lip, the one that I, it looked, the one that I had in looked way more real in person than on camera. You want it more like that. Because then you put this side in your mouth. Please make sure to wash it first because of COVID. And you slide it where you want it. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get it perfect. Like this is not that good. And you can also cut it more too. Mine, I had problems cutting even more because I was going to. But I had some problems with that. So. Oh my god. I missed up a, by a long shot that time. Okay, sorry if my phone keeps going off. My battery is low, so it keeps telling me. Yeah, I really need to cut this more and if you're using metal ones it probably works better please be careful I do not want anybody to choke This definitely has to be fixed a lot. I'm sorry. That's better. Hey, let me see how it looks as a nose piercing. Ow. Okay. That's not that bad. Especially if I fixed it a little more. But it does hurt your nose a little, so I would not recommend this if you did end up using plastic. Or I mean if you did end up using metal, sorry. Plastic though, that's not bad. Looks better than all my lips. You could probably do a side nose ring too instead of just in the middle. Ah, you have to cut it smaller or do this way smaller or else it will not hold on there as well as you think. Okay, mine needs to be cut a lot shorter. I guess that's not that bad. My favorite though is probably in the middle of my nose because it just fits better than anywhere else. I don't really know why.
This might work as Pierce Belly Button 2. I don't think so, though, because it won't, like, go through your skin there, and there's not really an opening to put it. But you can try. If you cut it shorter, it will look a lot nicer, too. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Well, I already posted today. But please subscribe, hit that notification, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell. Bye!